Yes, you read the title right. I'll be ranking all 16 preset challenges in Ultimate Custom Night from easiest to hardest. Keep in mind, this is based on my opinion with the strats that I use. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 16, Spring Trapped. Spring Trapped is definitely the easiest for a couple of reasons. For starters, there is really only two characters in this night that I would consider to be difficult to deal with, and even that is a stretch. Those two characters are Nightmare On, who has an AI level of 10, so technically he's not that hard if you just pay attention, and Lefty. However, if you death coin him, there's literally nothing else that can kill you besides Afton, who attacks once. And that's it. And Springtrap, I guess, who is stupidly easy to deal with. Just shut the top vent every time that you're about to enter cams or you see him up in the top and you'll be fine. If I'm honest, the only way that you will die is if you purposely take Rockstar Foxy's bird, as he has a max AI, which basically guarantees that he'll kill you. But yeah, dying in this night is pretty much out of the question unless you can't manage temperature and noise with literally nothing happening. Number 15, Bears Attack 1. Being the first challenge you ever could deal with, this night is expectedly very easy. In fact, the only reason this night is above Spring Trapped is because there's just more things that are active that you have to deal with. Freddy, Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear, Lefty, Nedbear and Rockstar Freddy, and also Golden Freddy. But everyone has such a low AI that it's really not that hard. Number 14, Nightmare's Attack. This night seems super hard just looking at it. Everyone who is in this night has a full 20 AI, and some of the characters like the Plushies, Lefty and Nightmare On may cause beginner players to die a couple of times. But if I'm being honest, even if you have a basic understanding of this game and how it works, you will honestly only die if you forget about Golden Freddy. If you know how to camp stall, you know, boom, the plushies are dealt with. Put the mask on after you exit camp for Withered Bonnie and Golden Freddy, pay attention to the sound cues and flash Nightmare Baby if he sits up. Unless you're really bad of noise and temperature, this night is honestly just not hard at all. I would actually say that this would be a good tutorial on how to manage your heat and noise levels. Number 13, Creepy Crawlies 1. If I'm being real, the only reason this night is where it is, is due to the puppet being in this night. This night is pretty much just winding up the music box and holding off the duck boys. It's not that hard at all. The music box is just harder than any of the previous mechanics in my opinion. Number 12, Creepy Crawlies 2. This is exactly the same thing as the first one, but it's a little bit harder, although the main challenge besides the puppet is now a max crew of duck boys. This is probably the night where you're going to learn how to heat a flip, because you'll probably have to do that to avoid Orville. But otherwise, this night is not hard at all. Number 11, Bears Attack 2. The addition of Toy Freddy and an increase of Golden Freddy's AI makes this night much harder than Bears Attack 1, if you don't know how to get the death coin. If you just death coin Toy Freddy, which you should because Toy Freddy is a madman in this game, it's just Bear Attack 1, but just a little bit harder. Number 10, Bears Attack 3. Literally exactly the same as the one before, but Toy Freddy is just more cracked. That is it. Number 9, Ladies Night 1. Once again, the difficulty in this night comes from just one character. Chica works on 15 second intervals, which makes her a little bit more difficult in the puppet in my opinion because you have to, you know, have the music box on for a lot more time and at the right times. Well, not really since she's only level 5, but unlike the puppet, you can't death coin Chica, so you have to deal with it. Otherwise, this night is just a cam store and that's it. Number 8, Ladies Night 2. Literally exactly the same as before, but there's an extra stalled character. Literally no difference. Number seven, Pay Attention 1. Pay Attention 1 is the first time that you get to learn about Funtime Foxy. AI levels mean nothing to Funtime Foxy, so them being increased doesn't actually do anything. If you death coin Funtime Foxy, you just have to cycle with the puppet, which isn't that bad by itself. Everyone else just works off a cycle, so it's pretty easy, although you do have to keep your noise down. Number six, Pay Attention 2. This is the same, but everyone is more cracked on 20, except Puppet who's on 10. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it's just a no. Number 5, Ladies Night 3. Ladies Night 3 does have a Chica AI increase, which is harder, but not by much. But the inclusion of Funtime Foxy makes this a lot harder. Once again, a Death Coin will serve you well, but besides that, this isn't much harder than 1 and 2, but Chica is just more annoying than Puppet for me. Number 4, Chaos 2. This is the first semi-difficult challenge. For those who have played UCN, you know that the difficulty spike in this game is rather quick to increase. But out of all the Chaos challenges, this one is definitely the easiest. It has Puppet, yes, but besides that there isn't much to worry about except keeping your noise down, which isn't too bad because there's not much to deal with. Number 3, Chaos 1. This has Toy Freddy, Puppet, and Rockstar Bonnie. Characters who make any challenge harder, although Rockstar Bonnie is only a problem if he shows up, which he may never do. 
Death coining either the Puppet or Toy Freddy makes this a lot easier, but you have to deal with one or the other. But again, not super tricky, just more tricky than before. Number 2, Chaos 3. This is the first challenge that honestly always results in at least one death for me. The combination of characters here is just super annoying. Plus, this challenge has the highest score out of all the challenges, meaning that there's more characters you have to deal with. For starters, the ducked characters are cracked, so heater flips are needed. You have to keep temperature and noise down for Lefty and Music Man with a max phone guy in the mix. Old Man Consequences is in this, and he can screw you over if you don't pay attention, and Max Nightmare on and Rockstar Bonnie, as well as Nightmare BB. The bird will kill you if you take it. On top of all of that, you have Foxy, who makes this knight 100 times harder. Even if you death coin him, this knight just throws so much at you that it can be hard to keep up. But one challenge just takes it up a notch in difficulty. Normally it takes me like two attempts to beat Chaos 3, but this last challenge took me over two hours to beat the first time. Number one, Old Friends. Without a doubt, Old Friends is easily the hardest challenge out of all the ones that are in UCN. Although it doesn't have nearly as much characters as in Chaos 3, the characters it does add makes this stupidly hard. You have to deal with a full 20 Foxy like in Chaos 3, but you also have to deal with a full 20 Toy Freddy, Chica and Puppet, as well as Cam stalling a plush and dealing with Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica constantly entering the room when they feel like it because they have max AI. So basically the three hardest characters besides Funtime Foxy in this night you literally have to play with the RNG gods the whole night, which is just painful. The Puppet and Chica just make this night super frustrating, Toy Freddy is just cracked, and Foxy and Bonnie just annoy you so much. 5am Foxy deaths are super common and just haunt my nightmares. The only saving grace is at least BB can't do anything, because there's literally no need for the flashlight. This night could have been harder, but it's still easily the hardest out of all the challenges. So there we are, all 16 Ultimate Castle Night challenges ranked from easiest to hardest. Let me know what your list would be in the comments below, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.